Hi, Ben here from Visual Dev FM, and I wanted to show you how you can add comments to your Webflow blog using Coral Talk. So Coral Talk was is as an open source project made by Vox Media, um, and that's who maintains it now. And it's meant to make um, comments more civilized, and it's really designed for news blogs. So if you're running a, a news website, but it doesn't mean you couldn't use it. Um, with your Webflow blog. In fact, you absolutely can. Now, if you go look at the page uh, for Coral Talk, um, you can just Google Coral Project and it comes up and there's pricing and it looks pretty pricey. You have to ask for a quote. But if you go to the docs section, um, they make this available for free. You can install it yourself and it talks about all the things you need. It looks super complicated, but they did something here to make this super simple. So, what you would need to do is go to heroku.com and heroku is just um, uh, a website that allows you to uh, deploy apps essentially um, and you will have to add a card to your account but this can be run on the free tier so you won't be charged to run this app or build this app so once you have a heroku app set up and you're logged into your account you can go to the coral talk page and just click on this deploy to heroku button it's the greatest thing ever. You hit the button and you can say, I'm just going to call this Coral Talk, or you could call it whatever you want. And so I'll call it Coral Talk right here. Look through. It's got all these different things. You can see on the free plan. And then I can hit Deploy App. And then once I hit Deploy App, it's going to it's gonna take a little while. So we will probably fast forward this part of the video. Um, but... It takes a minute. You can see it starts building the app and it's all this code. I know it looks super intimidating, but the good news is you don't know how you don't have to know how to do um, any of this piece. It, they've built this to where it just runs for you, which is super awesome. Okay, so now that it is deployed, it takes a while, so you just have to be patient. You can manage the app or you can view. So we're gonna hit view. It's gonna bring up a brand new page. This is where the app lives. We've got this address now, and we can just click on Get Started. It's going to walk us through some pieces, so we can select our language and put in the Webflow that or the email address that we're going to use for this. So I'm just going to put in my email address, and then we can put in a username. I'm just going to put in uh, my name, and then we can put in a password. So I'm going to put in um, password here. And then I'm going to hit next. Now it's going to ask me for some other information. So organization name, I'm just going to call it visual dev, um, contact email, and then a URL. So um, I'm just going to put in the URL here um, of our, our organization and then I'm gonna hit next so permitted domains where can this be um, embedded so you can include multiple domains so I'm just going to include the domain I'm using here um, which is this but you know if I had a custom domain as well I could comma and put in a, a second domain um, but I don't need to do that, so I'm just going to put in the one and click on finish install. So now I'm going to go to admin and I need to log in. Nice. Now that I'm in, I'm just going to, you can kind of get a nice overview here of everything, moderate. It's going to show your stories or your articles, uh, community, you know, who's a part, but then you can go to configure. So general here, um, there are a bunch of different options. Um, you know, whenever somebody comments, you can choose the, it's supposed to promote civilized discourse. So you can say, I want to respect that comment, or you can say props or whatever. You could customize that language. Um, you know, comment streams and editing, you know, your length, all these different places are here. You can go to the organization, you can still change these uh, settings. You have changes, you, or settings for moderation, whether, you know, 
comments should be moderated first. You can uh, get your spam detection going. So uh, if you go to um, go over here, this Akisem, <laughs> I'm not going to pronounce it right, uh, Akismet um, Spam Protection, you can get an account and put in your information there. Um, you can ban words, um, authentication, you know, uh, all your your different pieces here. You know, if you want to be able to log in with Google, log in with Facebook, you can set that up. Um, email, if you want email notifications to go out, you can set up an email client here. Um, and then advanced. So copy and paste this code below into your CMS uh, to embed Coral comment into each of your site's stories. So uh, this is what we're looking for. This is the domains that it's created on. And then what we want to do is just select this and copy, or you can just click copy here. And you can go to your Webflow blog. I have a place for comments here, so I'm just going to jump in and I'm going to paste this in. So here's the root URL of our app. Um, and then here's the source, all that fun stuff. Um, uh, uh, fun stuff that we're going to need uh, of our app for the JavaScript and all those other pieces. But there's some things here that are commented out that we need to work on. So um, on our options, I'm going to uncomment the story ID and the story URL. So on the story URL, I'm just going to highlight this in between the single quotes, and I'm going to, um, oops, I'm going to paste in here my address, and then uh, my slug for my blog posts is post, so I need to include that, and then I'm just going to add a field and choose the slug, which is the address here. So this is the story URL. And then this is the story ID, and for the ID, I'm just going to use the slug because it will be unique. And so now I have this code. I'm going to save this, and I'm going to publish. Now I can come here to my blog post page, and I can refresh. I can scroll down, and now you can see I can join the conversation. So here are the comments. I can view my profile. Um, here I can configure some things since I am an admin, um, but comments, bold, you know, italics, quotes, not all the pieces that we had in the other, but I'm just going to post a test comment so you can see what that's like. Submit it. You can see it labels me as staff. Test comment. I, people can respect that. Reply, share, report. Um, and if you wanted to stylize this, you could come back here and um, you can put a link into a style sheet, a CSS style sheet. Um, and if people are interested, I can build one of those and show you how to do this as well. But this kind of leaves the realm of no code and goes into the realm of code. But I did want to show you how you could do this. And then, you know, for your moderation, you can add other staff members, um, you know, your community. If you have other people, you can change their roles. Um, so as people who are just commenters or admins or moderators or staff, um, and so, but then you can see all your stories. So here's the one that we have seen that's been commented on. Um, and we can click in here uh, to it. We can see what's pending, unmoderated, what have you. Um, and we can get all that data um, on that post. So um, this is Coral Talk. And once again, it doesn't cost. Um, and it's a super clean um, and a, a very awesome system, I think, uh, to be using. And I don't think it has as many trackers or pieces to your site as maybe Discus would. So hopefully um, this is something that was helpful. If you have any questions, please don't re hesitate to reach out to us at VisualDevFM, at Riley Richter for me. Be happy to answer any questions you might have. Thanks for watching.